Dun 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 dun. Bum 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 bum. Dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Only me and Sinvicta are here today. Dun. And now here dun, dun. is dun. me. Dun, dun. Do, 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 do. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, it's me. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Coach Grandor. Yep. Hey, didn't. I'm thinking back to it, because right now only me and St. Victor are here. I don't know where Rob is. I like to imagine he just smokes so much weed, he's now, like, laying <laughs> in his bathroom. He's uh, just laying <laughs> in a pile of weed. <laughs> just envisioning the Jets, like, having the top draft pick and having it pulled away slowly. Adam Going Gase. up in smoke like his mental fortitude coach. Mm-hmm. It's like the oh, uh, the fisherman guy with the dollar holding the number one draft pick yeah. and kind of dangling it. Like you almost had it, you almost had it. <laughs> I will. I will read the last message from Robert Alpaca Patrol. He said, yep. and I quote, "Could be Hugh Jackson coming out of retirement to coach us." Thank you, Rob. Oh, breaking news! Breaking news! Alpaca Patrol says, "Sorry, be right there." There it is. He did. Now he just DM me it because I sent him a DM. Oh. Um. So I mean. We could restart right now, but I mean nope. we're two minutes in. We're not restarting. That's nope. like that's practically two hours. Recording's already started, coach. Yeah. No, we're not we're not restarting this. You think this is a professional show? If they won't restart for me, they're not restarting for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's a truther. Um so some uh, some big NFL news happening all around. First up, Russell Okung Okung? I don't know how you actually say his name. Um <laughs> Russell O Crypto. <laughs> o Crypto has been paid in Bitcoin. Woo! That's right. He has been paid in Bitcoin. The first NFL player ever to get paid in Bitcoin. Pretty sure it's O Kung. But... Yeah, I think it is too. Uh, half of the Carolina Panthers players' $13 million salary will be paid out in Bitcoin following a partnership with Jack Maller's Strike product. So I mean, he's like, he's getting paid the. Take the Bitcoin, boy. You know. Yeah, <laughs> he's also he also kind of tweeted out like what was funny was that the so the original tweet that he that he wrote was way back on May thirteenth of two thousand nineteen, and he literally just said, "Pay me in Bitcoin." And then on December 29th, two thousand twenty, he said, "Paid in Bitcoin." <laughs> oh, that's all he said. But he ended up going on a little bit of a speech talking about uh, how he's free from fiat and. How uh, he's, uh, you know, he's happy to see that, you know, Bitcoin's getting adopted seriously and, you know, proud to be the first, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's definitely clear that the man, like, I, if he's not being paid to say that, then he's definitely done his, like, a little bit of Google flu research about crypto. Oh, yeah. As as somebody who does, who does dabble in, in crypto myself for the last couple of years, like, he's saying a lot of the buzzwords that, like, he's basically speaking the way that someone would speak if they just Googled how to get involved in crypto for the first time. Yeah. (laughs) So it makes me believe that like, I hope that he's like sincere when he's talking about like how passionate he is from being like, you know, free from fiat, blah, blah, blah. But as coach Crandor just said, it was in conjunction with the partnership uh, with uh, Jack Mallard strike products. So they may be feeding him. who knows, but it is pretty cool. I will say as as a crypto enthusiast, it is pretty cool to see a professional NFL player being paid in cryptocurrency, like legitimately. And it's not, it's not some no name, you know? Yeah. He's like, he's a two time pro bowler. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So (laughs) it is, it is pretty cool. It's, I mean, why not 2020, you know, why not? (laughs) Um, Rob. Hello. Okay, he's here. I saw your Hello. mic was like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> I was like, yeah, oh. no, it was because it was, it was, uh, I was getting my headphones a little too close to the microphone. That's what it was okay. actually. Yeah, we uh, assumed that you were sitting in a in a pile of weed, just <laughs> smoking weed, <laughs> passed out in the bathroom, seeing like I Adam mean, Gase dangling your number one pick. Like you almost had it. 
Yeah, I mean, all these things are generally true. The, the, uh, no, I, I was just, I was on Do Not Disturb, and I was playing uh, chess with my fianchi. Oh. Yeah, it was, uh, I, but I, but sorry, yeah, no, I, I, I uh, spaced on the time. Um, but right. I am here. I am here. Yeah. And, and yep. I am also victorious in our fantasy football uh, oh, championship. Oh, yeah. Winner. I wonder how that happened, Mr. 56 <laughs> points from Alvin Kamara. <laughs> so even I did look to see that even if I uh, replaced Alvin Kamara, Kamara like Kamara. I, I would have still won. But. Uh-huh. If I replace Alvin Kamara and then he replaced two other players on his bench, then he would have won. But then, you know, at that point, you yeah. know, your hindsight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. You're like, I, I, like I if I didn't stuff. start Todd Gurley, I could have won. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, I did have Alvin Kamara in fantasy, and and you know what's funny is I, it didn't give me a ninety nine percent chance to win when Alvin. Kamara, I mean, did you guys already talk about that game? No, uh, we are two minutes in. So I mean, you missed ah. the intro. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, hey, well, hey, welcome to the and, football uh, party. Russell ba, 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 ba. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> we've already done it. All right, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So, um, <laughs> so I, 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 I have won the fantasy football championship. So I am very happy about that. I might even win the uh, the the pickums uh, oh. this year. No, I'm winning everything but <laughs> having your team win. Yeah, and well, like, actually, you know thing. what? They are winning. <laughs> they are winning two in a row. Yeah. I know. I hate it. <laughs> Longest oh, actually, uh, active win streak in the NFL. Congrats. I, I actually, and we'll get to this later, but like, it's fine to root for the Jets now. So now yeah. I have something to root for. There's actually a reason to watch the game this week and uh, root for the Jets destroying the Patriots. Yeah, they yeah. locked up the two seeds. I mean, they got it. Mm-hmm. And yeah. no one can, no one can take it from us at this point. So yeah, yeah. N- no Con- reason to not root for us destroying the shitty Patriots. <laughs> Congrats. Um, so yeah. another uh, big news story of the week. Dwayne Haskins has Dwayne been released. Haskins. He can now party with strippers all he wants. They, <laughs> they Josh Rosen, this dude. Yep. He, uh, well, I mean, Josh Rosen didn't party with strippers, though. But That is true. <laughs> Dwayne Haskins well. did kind of fire himself. But it's, it's because they wouldn't get rid of him. The thing with them is, like, it always they, felt like nobody, like, he didn't care in a way. Like, he would, all, they'd be like, he's not helping the quarterback on the. Like, normally when you're like a backup quarterback, you're with the main quarterback, being like, "Yo, what did you do there? Like, what did I see?" And he like would never do that. Apparently, the players liked him because they made him a captain. Uh, yep. But yeah. like, aside from but that, he like, just it's twenty three. Like, it is like you know, it, <clears throat> if the idea, like, it, it's, I don't know. The idea is truthfully that you know Dan Snyder didn't want him. The team doesn't want him, yeah. and they want to get out of the the contract because the thing is, like, it, there's no real reason for it other than the team doesn't want him on the team. Mm-hmm. Um, because uh, you know the 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 alternative. Uh, sorry, I had a train of thought as to as to. <laughs> That's why this was, but I'm losing. I'm losing it now. <laughs> he's losing. He's it. back. Um, on, he's back on the weed pile. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I, no. The 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 thing is, like, it, it the, they they just straight up um, they they're not doing this for 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 good cause. They just want to roll with Alex Smith because he's cheaper. Even though they actually now it's it's guaranteed, right? Like his whole contract because he's a first round pick. Well, no one picked um, no one no one picked him up, so he's he, he yeah. basically unclaimed off the waivers. Now yeah. he's a free agent. But yeah, but like think think about it. Like you pick a uh, first round QB uh, any other year, and he makes one mistake two years into his uh, you know five year contract, and you just could, ice the deal. No, they just they just wanted to get rid of him. That, that, well, that that's it. Like that that's that's all they wanted. To play devil's advocate, I will say if he was good. And he did mm-hmm. this. They probably would have kept him, and Dan Snyder would have been like, "Dude, why don't you bring strippers to me as well? We could have had a party." That's true, but <laughs> uh, you know, similar to I think similar to Josh Rosen's situation, like that's not kind of not his fault. Like he's again, like he's a kid, and he is, and he was drafted by a team that drafted him in a terrible position to draft him. They expected him to be the savior when I don't think anyone expected him to be the savior, and. uh 
and then now they're just like fucking <laughs> just fucking him up like now yeah. now he's now he's just got like he i mean we said it when gotta... he got drafted like he needed to sit like yeah. he should not have started yeah no totally like you if, gotta if he... admit though he didn't help himself no that's that true much. i mean that, like well, well think, that's true i think the yeah. downfall is on both sides but like haskins could have shown some initiative and actually like acted like he at least wanted to be a quarterback maybe not for this team but you got to act like you got to play you want to play in the league you can't just go out and violate you know COVID 19 protocol twice and uh you know it, it's i think that he he definitely had a lot to learn from even even like when smith was was hurt i think that there, there's still a good source of knowledge there yeah it it just it seemed like to me like he he turned out to be a typical like just too young to to play in the league and you know, was it, it kind of got swept up in the in the whole attitude? That's uh, the big part of thing it. too with it is like with the whole COVID pro- protocol. Like you're literally putting your entire team at risk, and they're battling yeah. for a playoff spot. And you're literally just like, but, ah, but I'm gonna party, no mask, bite all these. However, random here and this is a hypothetical that I don't know, right? Admittedly, mm. but he's a rookie or not a rookie, right? Well, no, yeah, he's a, he's he's one year he's, in, second year, one year in, yeah. I don't know what is going on with the Redskins team and the Redskins or the, the football team and the football <laughs> teams. Um, How dare you? Locker room. <laughs> um, I like I, I straight up I straight up don't know. You know, keep in mind he's again very young, and are his were his role models doing that too? Like, is that I again? I'm I'm creating a hypothetical that I don't know. Like, I don't know if other players on the team are also doing that. But um, you know, like if if it's the case where other where the other players were doing it too, it doesn't make it less bad. But it just makes it more like okay things are fucked up in in Washington which I wouldn't be surprised about again <laughs> yeah. because it's the Washington football team you know and and le- and and again it would be more like he, I don't know I I it's just it, it, I think it's it's a pretty short leash for a first round QB who who literally came into the league last year um I mean I felt similarly about Josh Rosen to be totally honest with you but that's a different situation because they had something literally like right there they yeah. had Kyler Murray like there's a there's a good reason for Josh Rosen whereas like Dwayne Haskins like you could just bench him you know you yeah. have Alex Smith you know you that's why you, I think it had to be something else you got to pay his contract right? huh that's why I think it had to be something else right cuz you don't just like give up that easily on a first round pick from a year ago. You don't. Like, yeah, but yeah, but, but Haskins made it clear that he wasn't going to actively try. Like he, he didn't, I mean, like, he made he did he did he made an error off the field, right? But like twice. No, but it was it was multiple things though. It wasn't just like he screwed up once and the team was like, oh, he's a lost cause or whatever. Like what he else, had multiple, he, he had multiple COVID. Uh, protocol violations. Which well, yeah, two off the field things, right? Like, and, which sucks. Well, and, and, and it's bad. And, and don't get me wrong, that's bad. But again, it, it like how many players? How many players on the Washington football team have had off the field problems? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I think it's but... just in the grand <clears throat> scheme of things, I think it was just a bad situation for all of them, right? Yeah, it's bad like... for Washington because they're dumb. Dwayne Haskins needed to go somewhere with like structure, like a New England or like you know anywhere like that, and he went mm. to the worst possible destination aside from like the Jets or something. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like my my point is that like if a person is if a person is canned for one mistake, they don't go out and tweet, "quote I take full responsibility for not meeting the standards of an NFL quarterback and will become a better man and player because of this experience." Wow. That doesn't sound like to me someone who was canned because they screwed up once. That's like a they know that they screwed up and probably had chances and were given chances and just right. chose not to go for it. But hypothetically, say he says, say my world is correct and he knows it, that the team just wants to get rid of him. Say he makes the tweet instead, fuck the Washington football team. The only reason they're doing this is because they just wanted to get rid of me and get out of my contract. Then does he ever get a contract again in the NFL? <laughs> I mean, he has to say that. I mean, that that's that's like, you know, him making a tweet that's like, you know, gracious is pretty much, you know, he has to. There's, there's no, there's no really other option there. Yeah, I um, think. I mean, uh, I, just, I just disagree. But yeah. whatever. I mean, that's fine. 
We just yeah, uh, yeah, no, agree to disagree. I mean, who knows? Maybe he'll end up being a backup somewhere, or maybe he'll have a better end up, you know, better thing than, yeah. than Josh Rosen. I, think, I don't the, know. In the grand scheme of things, he needs to grow up, and I think he needs yeah. to go to a destination that'll help him grow up. If they didn't want to get rid of him, they wouldn't have. They wouldn't have demoted him <clears throat> twice to third string within one season. Like they could have just canned him right then and there. They clearly, it seemed to me that they wanted to work. Well, but they with needed him. a good. They needed like a good, uh, a, a good reason to sell, like why they needed to uh, get rid of him. And uh, I, you know, I think we're going too hard in the conspiracy. But I'm anyway. not. I'm not. I'm not consp- like, it's not. It's, it's not a conspiracy. I'm just saying that. Like I. I don't think this doesn't happen. You know, well, uh, who does? Who who has this happened to? <laughs> Besides, like Josh Rosen, and it's not even the same situation. Yeah, I don't you know. know, actually. If somebody could find, like, a couple players that this has happened to, that'd actually be pretty yeah. good to see. Like, even Ryan Leaf <laughs> stayed uh, on for, for yeah. years, right? Like, Jamarcus Russell stayed on for years. Like, Dwayne Haskins isn't even that bad. Here's a good story. Sean yeah. McVay says they're bringing back Blake Bortles. Really? So, John the Wolfmeister. <laughs> John Wolford is going to be their starter because Jared Goff underwent surgery on his thumb. Uh, he's hoping to play by the playoffs, but uh, Bort- so it could be Bortles. Bortles, if Wolford doesn't do well, the Bortles might just step in and raise his Bortles and meme dream team this dream team to victory. That would be incredible. Goff was in a lot of pain. Yeah, he did not when, look uh, good when he broke his finger, and it was, it was just an ugly game. Yeah, it was an ugly game. The thing is, like, if one of these, like, other quarterbacks works out, it might end up being better because Jared Goff, I still think, is part of the problem with yeah. the Rams. <laughs> you, you might be right. I don't know. We'll find I mean, out. Like, like, it's it's hard because, like, I, I, I want to lean on, like, just the stats, which say that, like, he's still pretty decent. But also, like, you know. Is very clearly not working that well. Well, I don't think he's bad, but I don't think he's good. He's like right in that middle, you know. Yeah. He's got like, he's got like Joe Flacco potentially, you know. Yeah, I mean it's a little bit too like they they have a really good defense and not so great of an offense, right? So they mm-hmm. and they um they don't they do they do do they run well? I feel like they run poorly. Uh, they that's a good question. Let's see, offense rushing yards per game. They, oh, they're in like the top ten. They're number ten. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, no, that's that's pretty good actually. Yeah, so they actually a pretty pretty decent running game. Yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe it really is just like just golf. Yeah. No, honestly, I think so where's their passing? Their passing is uh, like thirteenth, twelfth. So, I mean, their passing isn't bad, but it doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't like spark fear in anyone. You know, like oh, Jared Goff's coming into town. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it works. Maybe he'll get healthy for the playoffs and do well. There is actually a possibility they miss the playoffs. Uh, playoffs. So playoffs. We'll get into that a little later. And the final big news story I wanted to bring up and make sure Rob was here. Jets owner Christopher Johnson has made it known internally that Adam Gase will be let go. <laughs> 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 uh, how do you feel about that rob yeah i think he died i think <laughs> he fell over <laughs> he, he fainted from from happiness <laughs> all right really well know. is he so uh is he okay so, is he dead <laughs> uh, who knows uh so uh yeah adam gase uh may actually be gone yeah I mean, it, what is your what is your prediction on the Rob reaction, Coach? I think he's gonna be pretty happy about it, but I also think that there's a part of him that's just confused and doesn't know how to feel. Now, who do you think is going to take the place of Adam Gase, Coach, off the top of your head? Who, man, off the top of my head, uh, who would be a perfect head coach for the New York Jets? Spoiler alert: It's not Rob. Nope. Um, if I'm thinking Jets, I'm thinking, you know, Hugh Jackson. Uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Jackson coming out of retirement. <laughs> uh, they got to take, like, you know, 
a a fresh head coach, right? Like they can't imagine. Just... <laughs> just imagine a scenario where Bill Belichick gets upset <laughs> enough at the Patriots to want to stick it to the man and go to the New York Jets coach. That would be that would be something. <laughs> you think Rob would be happy? Uh yeah, I'd say he'd be I'd say he'd be happy about that. Um apparently though. <laughs> I mean, there's like Jim Harbaugh from Michigan. I don't know how good of a fit that would be. Oh man. Uh Pat's Pat Fitzgerald from Northwestern. He's been rumored for a few years about coaching. Uh there's Bill O'Brien. <laughs> there's Bill O'Brien. He can uh, he can manage oh, your man. team and coach him up. He can't you he, <laughs> he, he can't get him any lower than that. That would be <laughs> That, Absolutely hilarious. That might be worse than Adam Gase. I'm not even gonna lie. I uh, uh, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, it okay. It's about the same as Adam Gase uh, <laughs> and Robert Sala. Sala, the 49ers defensive coordinator. I think he'd be yeah, a pretty good yeah, fit. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he's like he's like a good New York type of guy. Like he's got that tough defensive mentality. He's got like. I don't know. He seems like The Rock, like Dwayne The Rock Johnson coaching <laughs> your team. So I feel like he'd be a good fit. Um, it doesn't matter how long your contract is. <laughs> then again, you could probably put a paper bag out there and it's going to coach better than what they got now. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where, where, Rob, where Rob went. He, he just missed the biggest news story of like the year for him. Yeah, you were uh, even saving it for him. Coach. I was even saving it for him. So anyway, we'll Let's wait. Let's get on to the game. The games. Da, da, da. Uh, Saints fifty-two to thirty-three over the Vikings, but Kirk yep. Cousins threw for three touchdowns. Uh, he did, Rob. He did. <laughs> uh, Drew Brees actually looked like ass. Uh, Nineteen of twenty-six, three hundred and eleven yeah. yards and two interceptions. Uh. Not good, but Alvin Kamara, 155 yards and six touchdowns. That's so all you need. You may, you may hear that and ask yourself, but wait a second, coach. How did the Saints put up 52 on the board without Drew Brees throwing a single touchdown? Well, I'll give you the answer, Mr. Alvin Kamara. <laughs> That's he, right. He ran for all of them. Hey, he's back. He's yeah. back. Sorry, my computer crashed. That is actually funny. Because I saved this story just for you, and then you Ooh. missed it. And you cut oh. out at the perfect time to cut out. <laughs> God damn it. For, what, what you'll just have me, to catch it on the again. Vine, I guess. Oh, no. Here, here we go me, again. Quick summary. Quick summary. Per Craig Carton Live, owner Christopher Johnson, New York Jets, has made it known internally Adam Gase will be let go. Okay. That's, I mean, promising, but, you know, again, he's done this before, so, like, <laughs> and then didn't fire him. So, yeah. I, again, I hold out no hope. It's the New York Jets. I expect he will be back next year. What, do you, what are you putting the odds at? I think, considering the Jets and how cursed we are as a franchise, I'd <laughs> say there's a 95% chance Adam Gase is back next year. All right, all right. I'm putting it at a 50-50. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little more optimistic, but that's that also because I'm not a Jets fan. Yeah. I'm not putting it past anything at this point <laughs> for the Jets. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, hey, you know, at least you got, like, a promise now. At least there's no, like, we're still thinking about Adam Gay. Like, he says he's going to do it. I, again, he already did that. Like he, he was like last year. He was like, if Adam Gase loses this game, then he's getting fired. And then he lost the game. And he's like, but I think he's a bit <laughs> of an offensive genius. So like, you know, I, offensive I, I know. genius coach. <laughs> now yeah, so. there's uh there's actually a few. Uh, we were talking about him like candidates. If Adam Gase did leave, there's like Robert Sala from the. I mm -hmm. think he'd be a good fit. Uh, there's like Jim Harbaugh coming back. Yeah, we were trying to figure out who would be potential replacements, Rob. Yeah. Um, I was hopeful. I was, you know, I've been looking at uh, Eric Bieniemy. I don't know if he's still oh, yeah. thinking of leaving. I think he probably um, would. Yeah, that would be pretty sick. Um, but no, I haven't looked at coaches because, again, I I, I actually think that Adam Gase is probably staying. Um, oh. but uh, but. 
I mean, I don't know. I'd like a college guy as well, like something like that. You know, somebody who would at least do something, try something, you know? Yeah. And not a defensive guy. Like anything, it, it just an offensive-minded, ideally someone who's willing to run a weird new system kind of thing, you know? I will say, but, as uh, somebody who two years ago was like, please, just give us a young coach that knows how to make plays. And then we get Matt yeah. LaFleur. It has been like... Like, even just mm -hmm. watching their play design, there was a play I watched Adams run, and he runs, like, a post route, and then he's describing the play. He's like, all right, we're going on the post route. I see the safety start biting on it, and as soon as he does, he, like, plants his foot, cuts back, and he's wide open. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, yeah, we, like, designed that play. Matt designed it. It was really good. And I was like, oh, my God. This is like <laughs> Mike McCarthy's just like, run the play and get open. Good old-fashioned yeah. hard football. It's like, oh, my God, we're actually using strategy. This is <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> yeah you know i i would like a good coach ideally but i mean I, again like i i don't even if adam Gase gets fired like i don't know what the odds are legitimately that we wouldn't just pull another adam Gase. That. <laughs> like like why, why why wouldn't we like bill o'brien yeah i mean honestly like <laughs> why wouldn't we take bill o'brien as the head coach like i Honestly, he's I mean, from the just, AFC East. I was <laughs> just joking, but yeah. No, like really, like like he's from the AFC East. He uh, is a Bill Belichick guy. He's recently out of a job. Uh, the, he um, he's a mastermind. Right, right. They could sell it as like he's a, he'll be cheap as fuck. Like because nobody <laughs> wants him, but we'll take him because again, he's cheap as fuck. So he, like, knows, he knows how to wheel and deal them trades. Yeah. They, <laughs> he they knows how to get to... the other teams really good draft picks. He got the Dolphins like a top five. Look at that. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And again, like the Jets don't care if they win. Like they, they, they still like they make money either way, whether they win or lose. So like they, I don't, again, like I, I even if Adam Gase goes, I, I, it's still whatever. And then, and then even if say, say, we will reach this magical land where <laughs> the Jets fire Adam Gase. They hire a good coach, and I'm excited about it. Then they uh -huh. still have to do the second overall pick. <laughs> so, yeah, but, uh, I don't know. New, new good coach might help uh, help sway their opinions and stuff. You know, you don't know. You don't know. Oh, well, do you, I, 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 do you been... truly believe that that Gase will be gone? Honestly, yeah. Like, the, the, like I'm. Yeah, like here's the thing. <laughs> I'm just saying. This requires Jets to go 3-0 on good decisions in the offseason. And I, <laughs> I'm just saying, I've been a Jets fan a long time. I don't think that's happening. But, uh, you know, who knows? We'll see what happens. We will indeed see what happens. So then we had the Buccaneers kill the Detroit Lions very badly. And how. Yeah. And how. Matt Stafford went down, and that was all she wrote. Uh, it was even Blaine Gabbert threw two touchdowns this one. Yeah, it was. I mean, I'm not going to dwell on the game too long just because I think everyone has already seen the highlights. And if yeah. you haven't, you should because it's like, dude, they, um, I mean, this is the definition of just feasting. Oh, yeah. Like the Bucks were just eating the, the Lions lunch all day and it was great. <laughs> um, you know, Mike Evans looked really good. I mean, Gabbard even looked pretty decent as well. I got to say that Gronk, Gronk was like, even though it was a blowout game, like Gronk was really playing well. Um, and I got to say as well, AB did make a couple of nice catches. Um, he did have a touchdown, his second one for the Bucks. So overall, I was very cautiously optimistic. Um, I think that this team will definitely have a game in the first round. I don't know if they're going to go past the first round or not. It really just depends on who the Bucks play. Who are, who are they slated to play right now? We will if, get if the playoff to the started playoff today. machine very soon. Okay. Uh, but it would be an NFC East team. Correctly. Right. So see. they should be able to win that. <laughs> should be able to. I, you would think. Oh, <laughs> you're, you're keeping that under. You don't want to. <laughs> Wait, we're don't want we're, to we're waiting until the yeah, we do a little playoff scenario. Playoff okay, scenario. All right, all right, all right. It's a fun um, one. Yeah. Because the, the, half these games are going to be like these teams are not playing for anything. Uh, but this game was the 49ers and the Cardinals. But you would think the 49ers were playing for something because they beat the Cardinals. And yeah, well, uh, I mean, CJ Bethard, three touchdowns, 182 yards. 
they were playing for something. They have achieved the mythical six and nine record, which is only <laughs> you only get it for a brief moment in the NFL, and, That's and true. not all teams reach that that peak. It is um, nice. Mm -hmm. It's the weed number. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you rob right yep <laughs> uh jeffrey wilson ran for 183 yards uh kyler mm -hmm. murray 247 and a pick uh, i actually saw that it was a really bad pick he was he had the potential to like tie the game or at least get close to tying it and he just threw a pick in the end zone they just i don't know the cardinals just didn't look very good and i think maybe the 49ers divisional game just had their number but yeah the 49ers have actually been like coming on strong now they're getting healthy again yeah i mean um, they, they like if they didn't get destroyed by injuries like as they do it seems a lot yeah. um i mean we were expecting them to get blown out though ever since that we were operating under the false assumption that oh they're just done but well, they uh, just lost to the cowboys like what the shit are... <laughs> like yeah they... that's the thing is you just don't know it's like it's it's such a weird season this season yeah, yeah. i don't know um but yeah now the cardinals cardinals had Everything in their power to get a playoff Dude. spot. All they had to do was win, what, and they couldn't do that. Collapse. And so now, in order to make the playoffs, they need the Bears to lose to the Packers, which I still think will happen. And then they <laughs> have to beat the uh, Rams, who are starting their backup quarterback. But okay. now, Kyler Murray apparently got a leg injury, so it could be a backup for them. Ooh, that's rough. That would suck if Kyler's yeah. out. So yep. as of right now, let's see if there's any update. Uh, he is hopeful. Oh, okay. I mean that that means that <clears throat> he's probably gonna play through injury, which sucks. Yeah, that's not good. But you know, Rams backup quarterback, so who knows what'll happen. Well, I mean, this is one of the one of, this is kind of one of the cool things about uh, the NFL and the fact that it has so few games in a season is. For a lot of teams, the playoff starts next week, which yeah. for the Cardinals, it's it's them. Like they, they I mean the Bears should lose to the Packers in theory. Well the so. Bears are they're fighting for a playoff spot, but the Packers are fighting for the one seed. And they want yeah, that yeah. one seed. Because they, they win, they get the one seed. They lose, they have to hope Seattle loses. And yeah. that, I don't know, I don't trust this that. This is on the Cardinals for for, yeah. for crap in the bed on this one because like yeah. they had I mean, everything was lined up. All they had to do was just win. Yeah, yep. and they couldn't do it. So, yeah, I I don't know. Especially if Murray's going, if if Murray's done, like for at least for this, even this last week, like they just might be done skiing yeah. for this for the season. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, man, if the Bears make the playoffs, I swear to God, that's, <laughs> <laughs> they can't keep getting away with it. Yeah, um, they really can't. But the, <laughs> apparently, they are. <laughs> Dude, yep. it's still is it still gonna be the miracle run I predicted? They sneak into the playoffs and then they just beat everyone. They're not gonna beat good uh, teams. They're not gonna beat good teams. They, <laughs> I will get to that. We'll get that. Uh, Dolphins beat the Raiders. <laughs> what a shit show ending for the Raiders. Yeah. So if you missed this one, Tua got pulled out of the game, and he put in Ryan Fitzpatrick, who again led the Dolphins to victory. Uh, and the Raiders kicked the last second field goal. Instead of running in for the touchdown, Josh Jacobs, I don't know if they told him to or if he decided on his own, just like didn't score the touchdown. And so they set up the field goal and they go up by two with like <laughs> like 40 seconds left. Or no, it was like it was like 15 seconds left. So then the Raiders or the Dolphins get the ball, fits magic. Comes into the field, gets his helmet ripped off as he bombs the ball, and the Raiders blow the coverage like the Jets did for them. Dude's wide open, plus a face mask, puts him in field goal range. They kick the field goal, they win. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, shocking, but yeah. hilarious. <laughs> <It was> shockingly, <laughs> I gotta say that I mean Fitzpatrick is really lucky he didn't get injured. Yeah, that was, so, it was I, a heavy did, face mask. Was there was there a a confirmed find on that yet? Do we know? Uh, that, that was flagrant. I mean, that wasn't, you can't even call that accidental. I mean, it was just horrible. Yeah, it was really bad. Um, let's see. Da, 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 he really da, da, is fortunate he didn't, he just didn't get domed right there. Cause I, like I, when, when I saw it happen, I was like, dude, his neck is broken. Like it's just done. Yeah. And amazingly, not only did he get the pass off, they caught it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were wide open. Like, I don't know how yeah, they it wasn't the even close. Bed. There was no one around. Magic, man. He's got the magic. He's got magical abilities. Yeah, I like, guess. Here's the, uh, like, it's look such at a... <laughs> yeah, your net, your head doesn't go that way. 
Yeah, that is. Oh, wait, why did it link? Stupid Discord. It like linked back to our other chat thing. What the, oh uh, yeah, that's weird. Uh, oh yeah, that, that that's intense. Yeah. 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 No, the um, it's so weird this season because like I I, I kind of feel like there's. I feel like any other team, any other year, this would feel like a QB competition. But I don't think there's a competition here. No. Right? Like, it, no. it, kind, of, it kind of feels like, you know, if Tua is getting a little flustered, they pull in Fitzpa- Fitzpatrick, you know, because they're fighting for a playoff spot. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. Like, and it I don't works. Know that, yeah, it's working. <laughs> it's, wor- it's working for them, and they're, they're, they're getting wins, right? So. Yeah. I, I mean, and Fitzpatrick has been in that spot before, though. To be fair to him, like yeah. you know, I'm right. I'm not a I'm not a Fitzpatrick like hater because I think that he can be good, but it's mm. it's just such a cycle with him. But I mean, yeah, you're right. It it does it it does seem like you know, it's like well, too, if you can't get it done, we have, we got someone who can. And you know, right. and Fitzpatrick came out there and he did it. So you know, yeah. like, got to respect the man. And I think the thing is like neither of them seem to have an ego or anything about it. Both yeah. of them are like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, like, I think you need it's that like, for it to work. It's a weirdly cooperative two QB system, a little bit. Like, it's not a two mm-hmm. QB system because I mean, obviously, they don't they they're not swapping out plays. Actually, mm-hmm. the, really, the New Orleans runs a two or QB system yeah. more than any other team. But, um, but like you know, but it seems. But but you're right. Yeah, it seems like it's like a really cooperative relationship. Like Fitzpatrick isn't trying to start. Like he he, I think he knows what he does. But he goes to random teams, gets them some wins, and uh, yeah, they're right. like. But that's uh, what good that's what good quarterbacks and good and more importantly good players do is yeah. they you know, they understand the situation. The dude yeah, like, is like an actual mercenary quarterback. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, he's the mercenary quarterback. Yeah, I feel like the narrative normally, and maybe it's because Miami has been bad for a long time and it's not like a huge market, but like. The narrative normally would be like Tua. What's wrong with Tua? You know, and and you know, like maybe they need to draft somebody else. But like, it doesn't. I don't. I don't even think anybody's even thinking that. You know, I think yeah. it's like fine. They're getting the wins. So yeah. yeah, I mean, it's his first year. You can't expect much. Exactly. He's done. Yeah. He's done. He's done a great job, in my opinion. Me yeah. too. Yeah. So, go uh, go Dolphins. Look at that. Yeah, ten uh, wins, then, man. Yeah, the Ravens beat the Giants twenty-seven thirteen. Man, yep. <laughs> now it's... you might think, man, the Giants now five and ten. What a shit team! <laughs> well, if the Giants <laughs> win next week, the NFC East could <laughs> be theirs. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it's just so fun. It's predicted. You you can predict it the season before. In fact, I'm gonna predict it right now. Next season, the NFC East will be won or lost on week seventeen. Yep. Uh, because it's just it's just what this division does. And like we all predicted, the Eagles will not win the division because they won it last <laughs> year. So now they can. <laughs> yep. I thought Impossible. all they had to do was beat the Cowboys, and they couldn't do it because the curse hit them. They yep. just <laughs> bam. They're like, oh yeah, we can't that. win. So here's because yeah. here's the thing: if they did that, if they won the division two years in a row, then they would be by magical rules of football obligated to win the Super Bowl, and they're just not ready to do that yet. You know? Yeah. No, they're they're not. So uh, the Ravens in this case are making a big push for the playoffs. They're pretty much in if they win, so they control their own destiny. Uh, and are they out if they lose? They're not out. But they, they're for all intents and purposes, they're out. Oh, uh, they would need a oh. miracle from not who is it? They who is it? Is it contingent that they lose? I think they need the Colts to lose or the, the Colts. I thought it was the uh, it's either no. Colts or the Dolphins or is it the Browns? We'll figure it out in the playoff machine. Playoff, yeah, machine. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. then we had. <laughs> The oh god, where the games go? Then we had the I didn't even look at the stats in this one. Daniel Jones threw a touchdown. Yeehaw! Uh, <laughs> Lamar and uh, sure the Ravens. Did. Ravens did Ravens. This was like the standard. Like we know who these teams are. This is what they did. Mm-hmm. Uh, we knew who they. <laughs> we knew they were. Uh, in this meaningless game, the Chiefs beat the Falcons barely. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Mahomes. I mean, the Falcons have been really fighting the past several weeks. Yeah, they've been healthier. They um, Mahomes two seventy eight, two TDs and a pick. 
Uh, yeah. and the pff, Travis Kelsey was good, but like the rest of the team did not seem that great against the Falcons defense, which I don't think is great. Maybe they're just kind of half trying. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick, for being solid for me all fantasy football season. <laughs> you are dope. Um, so yeah, Chiefs, good Falcons, top 10 pick. Uh, <laughs> then game of the week, the New York Jets beat the Cleveland Browns without Ooh. like four of their receivers, but they still did it. You know, like now that it's happened, I'm kind of glad it happened because <laughs> I should have, I should have, there should be no, there should have, I, I shouldn't have had any feelings <laughs> that what played out played out because there, there was an off chance that the jags win and we lose and then like you know we could yeah things get out but it's like it's the jets that doesn't happen but like <laughs> there's a silver lining here the silver lining is one we got another win um i feel sad that it's against the browns because i like the browns and they're probably just straight up my second team and this yep. might hurt them in their playoffs which chances, is very right? fitting for you know yeah i know it's, it's a real <laughs> fucking bummer um but the silver lining being now no team can take the number two pick from us. N do nothing there. Th literally next game is completely meaningless for both us and the Patriots, meaning <laughs> that we have the chance we and we're hot right now to, uh, <laughs> to, to, to destroy Bill Belichick's Patriots. Just, you know, like right when they're down, kick them while they're down, you know? Yeah. And now, of course, it's the Jets. So I expect they're probably going to lose next week, um, which would be hilarious because it would just <laughs> kind of be the cherry on top. It'd be the chef's kiss of the perfect, horrible season. Um, and that's what I expect is going to happen. Uh, but I mean, I don't know. We could talk about the game a little bit, I guess. I see that uh, Jameson Crowder touchdowns. threw a touchdown and caught a touchdown. Yeah, I mean, Jameson Crowder has been, like, solid the whole time that he has been with us. Like, last year and this year, he's great. They should keep him. Uh, he should stay around for whoever is going to be our QB, whether that be Sam Darnold, Justin Fields, or I don't know, whoever the fuck. Trevor Lawrence? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might be Gardner Minshew. Who fucking knows? Hey, that, that there would, you go. Yeah. That would be kind of sick, Nether. actually. That would like, be kind of cool. I would be I would be kind of into that. Like if they just like got Gardner Minshew and Sam Darnold and have them battle it out for the you know for the number for for the meme, the meme bowl. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, there dude. Like why yeah. not? Like now, because now the rebuild's over. Like now it's now it's like it's done. Like we we it's it's you know the the whole point of this horrible season is 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 worthless. I mean, we still have a lot of draft capital, so that's good. Yeah, and you know, really, the sky is falling. But again. The expectation that we can turn this around relies on the Jets doing good things. And I just don't see it happening. So, you know, I, I'm just expecting us to go full meme mode again and uh, have a horrible next 10 years. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe we do go. Maybe we get good memes. You know, maybe we get Gardner Minshew and the, the mustache magic and stuff, you know. And yeah. maybe, maybe, something, maybe something weird happens. But I like Jameson Crowder. Um, I like, uh, you know, Mims looks all right kind of this year uh becton looks great this year quinn and williams has done excellently this year uh you know there's there's been there's been some, some bright spots huh i say you got some pieces there you know I, yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's some stuff i mean you know there's we worry we happening. worry about you rob we need to hear that <laughs> That we need to hear that that boyish laugh and that that lust for life that you, you used to have. You know what? I tell you what. Football. If if the Jets if the Jets go two zero, like I was saying in the off season, we have we have games in the off season. A lot of teams don't have games in the off season. The Jets do. Mm -hmm. Our games are number one. Do we fire Adam Gates? <laughs> if we go one one zero on that, I'll be pretty happy. But I'm still gonna be on optimistic, but not hopeful. <laughs> then hire a good coach. If we're at two zero there, I'm feeling pretty good. Okay. And then if we if we make it to three zero, then I'm fucking hopeful by season by week one next year. And then you'll have a great 
explosion on on week one. So I hope you're excited for that. So <laughs> be hopeful that the Jets go three zero in the off season, get like a good coach, good good draft pick. But I mean, I kind of expect us to go one and two or zero oh and three. Honestly, that's my <laughs> that's my expectation anyway. Well, all you gotta do is finish above five hundred. You'll be you'll be you'll be golden. Yeah, uh, I guess even if we get a bad second pick, I mean that would be pretty bad actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but on the other side, the Browns. It kind of sucks they didn't have have like their wide receivers. Just that seems like the yeah. most Browns thing to have happen to them. Guys, we're going yeah. to the playoffs. Uh, your receivers are gone. Uh, mm-hmm. We can beat the Jets though, right? Yeah, I like. I think if the Browns had their receivers, they win, right? Yeah. Like, because I mean, it's not like we we put up twenty three points, and I think if they had a better offensive gate showing that today, you know, they they would have, um, you know, yeah. yep, uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, so yeah, poor Browns. <laughs> Next up, we had the Bears beat the Jaguars forty one seventeen, and yeah, all you hear them. about on the Chicago Bears whatever the shit uh, news. <laughs> They're like, the Bears have put up 35 or 33 points a game in the last four games. Well, yeah, you played the shitty-ass Lions that just got their ass kicked in by the Buccaneers. You played the yeah. Texans, who like have stopped trying to the point where J.J. Watt is like, I just feel bad for the fans. We're, we're not trying. <laughs> you beat the Vikings barely, and then you play the Jaguars, who were tied at halftime, and then you go into the locker room, and they're like, they made adjustments. So did the Jaguars. They're like, guys, we're winning. We got to stop. And then they lost. Yeah, also, like, the Jags are tanking on purpose. Yeah, like, that's I mean, what I'm saying. Like, I mean, like, they're like, celebrating, really. Yeah, they, they don't, they, you don't start Mike Glennon in this week with the draft position that they're in. Yeah. If, unless you're <laughs> unless you're like, you know, tanking on purpose, yeah. right? They're doing like, what they're, the Jets should have done. They didn't yeah. even have James Robinson in. I guess he might yeah. have been hurt, but they were like, ah, just keep him out. Just don't let him play. Uh, I tell you what, man. though, by the way, I, like the uh, one thing about the Jets, just to double back for a moment, mm-hmm. uh, that uh, since we fired Greg Williams after he was the tank commander of our dreams, uh, the defense has played a lot better. So, like, Greg <laughs> Williams was actually holding back our defense, which oh, is kind of funny. That is um, funny. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, the. Uh... The Bears, like, here's the thing. I've I've had people, like, legit come in my stream be like, you're shitting on the Bears again because you hate them. Well, first off, yes. <laughs> Second it's, off. They're in a division, you know. I it's hate like the Bears, too. They're not yeah. even in my division. It's it's like the pesky little brother of the division. You know, you just. Uh, and we don't have any Bears fans. It's like, you know, if if Bear was here as the only Pats <laughs> fan and he would yeah. shit, like, and while Tom Brady was around and he would shit on, like, Jets fans while they're while they're sucking, <laughs> I, I can see why the Jets fans would get mad. Right. Um, but, you know, it's, it's in your division. Yeah, it's a divisional thing, right? And, like, the Lions, I just feel bad for them. The Bears, I also have to, like, live here and, like, hear it constantly like i think uh mitch trubisky's turning the corner yeah he's not he's throwing picks against the jaguars all right <laughs> so and once he plays the pack like i just there's already like half here's the thing, half the people have like false hope of like i think they're gonna do it and then the other half are like god we're gonna get killed <laughs> and it's like a split yeah. down the middle but it's to the point where like it's it feels like a trap game but i've had that feeling and then we win anyway the packers I mean, are just divisional. like they're, it is divisional. The Packers are just, they're like, they're an oiled up machine right now. Like, they look really good. Uh, the only thing that looks bad is their special teams, which is scary. Uh, but, you know, if if we can just get out in front, like, it's, they keep rolling. Um, You're either way, right into that jinx curse right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the Bears, all of, they're all having flashbacks because, like, week 17 of 2013, the Bears and the Packers played for the division. And Aaron Rodgers on fourth down, late game, threw a like forty yard pass to Randall Cobb and won the game in the division. And it's like a all they can hear is Joe Buck being like Rodgers, Cobb, Packers win the division. <laughs> I'm Joe like, Buck. So they're all just expecting the same thing, um, and it probably will happen. So, <laughs> but we've already got the division, so it doesn't matter this time. Yeah. Uh, you just need that number one seed now. Need that one yeah. seed. All right, you so, be the clinch, you know. The thing is, like, if you, even, if, 
Right. Sorry, I was gonna ask if you don't get the one seed, do you not get the buy? Correct. Oh, yeah, so they want only the one buy. Seed. Yeah, there's um, one buy. Oh Their right, conference. yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I, right, I thought uh, I thought it was gonna be because weren't they weren't at the beginning of the year they were gonna do something different with the playoffs and they're not doing that now. That is what they're doing. That's only one team doing. gets the buy instead of two teams. And there's yeah. another oh, wild card. Oh, team. so that's what. Ch- okay. Yeah, so yeah, the Cardinals yeah. and the Bears are playing for the seventh wild card spot, which means they wouldn't even make the playoffs if it was like last year. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I get to get get confused with the new it's rules. So, it's so I mean, it's temporary, so it's no big deal. Yeah. Here's the thing. I don't think the Bears are a bad team. They're just not a good team. They're like one of those limbo teams. Like to me, they're like a six and ten team. Like, I they, yeah, I mean, you know, like, it's weird because it's like, I want to say the same thing because it really feels true. Mm-hmm. But then again, they are eight and seven. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> yeah. like, they like, regardless, uh, you know, what it feels like their team should be with how the season has played out. They have won the games that we expect that they should have lost in some cases yeah and uh and you know here they are so i mean i if, think uh if they end up in the playoffs it's it really is you know once you get to that tournament it's any given sunday so i i don't know it is it is weird but... i do agree with that i just think if they had like a quarterback i'd be kind of worried yeah. but they have mitch trubisky and i'm not worried <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so yeah uh, you know they did they did what they had to do. So I mean props to them for that. Yeah. Uh Bengals beat the Texans. Brandon, dude, Brandon Allen's balling out. 371, two touchdowns. Yeah. Uh again, you know, it's the Texans. Yeah. God, I you just feel bad for Deshaun Watson. Yeah. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> Brandon Allen, wasn't he was it wasn't he the dude that was on the uh the Panthers? No, uh, he's on the Rams. It looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so he's just like a. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he's he's a, he's man. Yeah. Oh, in Denver, Denver and the Rams. Oh my I god, guess. he looks he looks almost exactly like one of my cousins. Like if his, <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's that's kind of cursed actually. He's very very similar. The uh, the eyes are wrong, but you know. I mean, hey, look at that. He's got eight seventy seven. Uh, yards, five TDs, two picks. Like backup quarterback, that's pretty solid. Mm-hmm. You Sounds know, like you're looking been... it up. Like, oh, look at that. He looks. <laughs> he does look like Rob's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know who has been, by the way, balling out on the Bengals is fucking the man, the myth, the legend, the mustache, Giovanni Bernard. He, yep. I, I picked him up actually in that last week and started him in that last week of fantasy. Uh. It, you know, Wait. he's another dude who's been in the league for a very long time. Um, and, uh, like, he's, yeah, he's 29 now. Like, he's been with the fucking, uh, the, the Bengals for a while now. And he's, he's had a good stretch of weeks. Yeah. I was you also know? confused because I looked at Brandon Allen's record. It was one and three. And I'm like, but then they beat the Steelers. And then I realized Ryan Finley was the quarterback against the Steelers. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even know who's starting for the Bengals. <laughs> what the shit? What's going on? Um, and Samaje Perine. Is that how he's 95 yards, two touchdowns? Um, I think it's Perrin. He he was on uh he was on our team, I think. Oh, was he? I uh, think so. It, it rings a bell. I think Washington, I think Washington, Cincinnati, Miami, Cincinnati. Oh, you know what it was? Is I probably recognize him from Miami then. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I kind of do too now. Yeah. Uh, but hey, he's got two fifty three touchdowns. It's not too bad. That's four point six yards a carry. Mm-hmm. Uh, so maybe they got something with him. Complimentary back for uh, Bernard. Who knows? Uh, I don't actually know if Bernard's contract's gonna end, but. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, Either way, these teams are going nowhere, and the Texans really going nowhere because they don't have a first and second round pick. Thanks, Bill O'Brien. I wonder why that is, Coach. (laughs) Well, uh, I mean, I'll tell you right now, you don't need first or second round picks, and you don't need a star wide receiver. All those are garbage. I will say. (laughs) Yep. Now, Giovanni Bernard definitely has the superior mustache, but 
Perrin has a pretty sick beard. I don't he know, does. That's right? a solid I mean, beard. look at that. That's 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 hardcore. That's that's a good beard. That is a good beard. Um, then the Steelers <laughs> come back against the Colts, down twenty four to seven, to yeah. beat the Colts twenty eight twenty four. Whoo! They needed that. They did. They yeah, really yeah, did. I'd say so. Yeah, that was like if they lost this one, I feel like all hope was just out the window. Like you got. Yeah, it. like. If they lost this, it would kind of be like the Steelers are kind of bad, <laughs> yeah. like, right? Like yeah. they've been, they were losing for they lost three straight weeks. Yeah, I mean they needed to set they they needed to tell everyone say hey stop calling us the worst eleven and team of like all time because you definitely were. I mean they had they had one of the softest schedules. Yeah, like for those eleven games, we've already been through all that. Yeah. Maybe but I like, mean you know yeah go on. They, I, I'm just saying. I feel like they've they have been underachievers this entire season because they haven't been they have not been forced to to play that hard. Yeah, you know. So maybe they're maybe they're peaking at the right moment. Who knows? But the fact that they were down so far so early and they had to come back that hard against a not great football team. Uh, I don't know if you're a Steelers fan. You're probably not too happy right now. I mean, yeah. the, I think the Colts are a good football team. In fairness, but. Yeah, I but the they shouldn't have been in the game versus the Steelers, though, with the with the talent. In my opinion, anyway, with the, I with think the records, yeah, like like that, yeah. Are. I mean, of course, records not everything, obviously, but like I don't think that it should have been. It shouldn't have been that much of a competition mm. between these two teams. Am I? Am I this season anyway? With the way that the Steelers yeah. have been playing. Yeah, no, I mean, like, I, I think, uh, but I think maybe you're right that it could be like they're waking up at the right time because, I mean, they just had a three game losing streak and now they yeah. had a tough game against a good team that is probably like they're, they're a playoff team, right? Like, right yeah. now? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, like, and, and they won. They, they, and they had to come back to win. So, like, I think that's a good, that's a good moment for them, especially going into next week where it's kind of an important game for them, too, right? Like, uh, it could be. Apparently, they're going to be starting Mason Rudolph, but I think that's more of they want Roethlisberger to be healthy for the playoffs and less right. positioning. Because it's like they're going to get a home game and a wild card game. I don't think they care who they play at this point. It's just you know you'd rather be healthy than throw them out there and be yeah, because like, they don't get a they don't get a buy right. There, there's yeah, no they way don't for get them to get the buy now. Chiefs yeah. get the buy. So that's uh you know Steelers beat call. I mean, good game. Uh, yeah, if that was a playoff game. That'd be a fun game to watch. Could be. Yeah. Uh, playoffs. 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 Speaking of playoffs, the Panthers beat the football team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> without uh, uh, what's his name? The McCaffrey. McCaffrey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Bridgewater, nineteen of twenty-eight, hundred ninety-seven, one TD, one pick. Curtis Samuel was their leading rusher, fifty-two yards. Mike Davis had twenty-eight on fourteen carries, not very good. And Curtis Samuel was their <laughs> leading receiver. Curtis Samuel doing everything. Uh, on the like... other side, what? Yeah. No, I was gonna say that wasn't there a record. To... It, it, aren't the, aren't the Panthers like like already have a winning record? They're when five Christian and McCaffrey's ten. out. No, 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 when, when he's, he's been out. out. Well, I mean, he's been out, like, most of the year, honestly. Well, yeah, uh, true, yeah. And, I mean, here's the thing. If they were in the NFC East, they'd be uh, right at, right there in the yeah. battle. <laughs> um, hey, props to the Panthers. Like, they've been playing hard. Uh, yeah. Even with, like, nothing to really play for. Um, mm -hmm. On the other side, Dwayne Haskins. <laughs> yep. And then yeah. Taylor Heineke went 12 of 19, 137 in the touchdown. Hey, it's not, it's not too bad. Uh, so maybe Heineke gets the start, uh, or Alex Smith if he's healthy. That's probably the ideal. But yeah, I think that's what they're uh, they're going for. I think it's pretty much going to come down. Like defense still did well. Deron Payne, Chase Young, Cole Holcomb all had sacks. Cameron Curl had a pick. Like their defense still did well. Montez Sweat had a sack, but they scored 13 points. <laughs> that's uh, not enough. Yeah, I mean, and they might win the, win the division, meaning like their draft position could be fucked even more. So like. Yeah. They yeah like right now if the season ended today they would be the 19th overall pick in the first round so that's like <laughs> yeah. out of well I mean <clears throat> the conventional wisdom is it's out of QB contention but then at the same time Lamar Jackson was picked like what 32 yeah. 31 um, 
you know, and and uh, Mahomes was picked like what, 16, 17? Yeah. Or something like that? I think, uh, actually, he might have been 12. Yeah. But I mean, even so, so they, they, there have been there have been notable examples outside of the top ten the past couple of years. So I don't know. Maybe that's apparently a there's uh, there's like four quarterbacks this year too. There's yeah. Lawrence and Fields, but there's also uh, what did Tank Wilson honestly. and somebody else. W- Wilson, I know a lot of the Jets subreddit is yeah, like Zach Wilson, Wilson and Trey Lance. He's the other one. Right, right, right. Lance. So yeah. that'll be a fun quarterback class. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, but you know. Da, 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 football team they gotta win if they want to play in the playoffs uh yeah chargers broncos chargers beat the broncos probably because they're a better team and they have the better young quarterback <laughs> mm. uh herbert 253 and a touchdown drew lock 264 and two picks there you go that's pretty much all you need to see <laughs> yeah yep. um it's good for them uh yeah Cowboys, looks good. they're gonna be they're they're gonna be a playoff team next year. Oh yeah, Chargers will be. I think yeah. so. Uh, Cowboys beat the Eagles thirty-seven seventeen. I don't know how that happened. Uh, yeah, but it's, it, it, we we already went over it. It's just the cow, the Eagles cannot win the division. Two that's years in true. A row. The curse hit them. That that's, makes that's, it all. Uh, that is the law of the land. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hey, is it two thousand eight again? The Sean Jackson had an eighty-one yard touchdown. Crazy. Wow. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it was good too. He, 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 you know, he did the did the Deshaun Jackson, yeah. uh, you know, the thing he does, uh, the show. <laughs> he used to be a Buccaneer coach. Mm-hmm. He sure did. And hey, the Dallas Cowboys are also six and nine. <laughs> hey, they did it. <laughs> they did it. And Andy That's Dalton, actual winning. Andy Dalton, dude, three touchdowns and a pick, three seventy seven, twenty two of thirty. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Ezekiel Elliott actually ran for 100 yards for, like, the first time this year. He might be playing himself into, like, a trade. Like He might. Yeah. Right? I yeah. mean, I feel like the Cowboys could probably get uh, a pick for him. Uh... Yeah, he could probably get a late-round pick for him. Although, actually, I don't know if he's on. He might be on, like, a one-year deal. Oh, yeah, I'm you're not right. sure. One-year proof. Let's see. I'll check it out. All right, do the check. Uh, aside from that, the big games for Michael Gallup and Amari Cooper both had 121 yards. Gallup had two TDs, though, and CeeDee Lamb, 65 and a touchdown. They got a lot of offensive weapons in Dallas. It's just mm-hmm. they uh, their defense still not great. Uh, yeah. I mean, eh, they were good enough for this game to win. And uh, Andy Dalton is on a one-year contract, by the way. So that's actually great for him because yeah. now he's got – options right like i don't know if the i don't know if his deal has like incentives of like where he plays it turns into two years or something i mean Mm -hmm. i don't know but it's if it's just a one-year deal he's got great options he could sign with the cowboys again i'm sure they'd be willing to pay him maybe and i mean the cowboys have won three in a row now they beat the bengals 30 to 7 then they beat the 49ers 41 33 and now they win 37 Mm -hmm. 17 like, uh, if they win against the Giants next week and the football team loses, the Cowboys get in, and they're uh, honestly is a not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> they, could, they could take a wild card game, you know? Yeah. I, I, awesome. I honestly think any of those NFC East teams that get in are going to be really scary matchups for whoever's yeah. up against them. <laughs> I think so, too. It's going to be... Just because they've wacky. had to fight tooth and nail all yeah. year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's... <laughs> and, <laughs> like, I think there's also, like, a little bit of the mental aspect, right? Like, I bet a lot of the players will have that little voice in their head being like, this t- they have a losing record. We this should win. It sucks. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then they just start getting, you know, owned. So Yeah, it's... And honestly, the wild card game would be their Super Bowl. If they win that, that's like a woo, and then you go on. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's like a woo. <laughs> Very quick roller coaster. Yep. Uh, the Rams lost to the Seahawks. Russell Wilson, 225 and a touchdown. Chris Carson, 69 yards. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and the yeah. Rams... The weed number. The we yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Leonard Floyd had two sacks for the Rams again. Just uh, if the Rams had an offense, they probably could have scored more than twenty points. But mm-hmm. especially it's the Seahawks defense. Like, what are you doing? I actually hate the Rams. Like, I do too. <laughs> yeah, me too. I really actually. don't like them. I I, think I pick. I the despise Rams. them. Yeah, I just I just don't like them. 
In fact, like they, I think I said last week I'm only picking the Rams this time, and if they fail, I'm going to be mad, and I am mad. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm very mad. I've been I've been mad at the Rams since they lost to the Jets, and I I don't think that's going away. They I'm haven't really done much to for make the me same like reason. Them. Yeah, <laughs> that was my freaking lock that week. Yeah, I have been. Rob. <laughs> I've been saying it for years. Even the year the Rams made it to the Super Bowl, I still think the Rams are just overrated. They're just constantly overrated. That doesn't mean they're a bad team. I just think they're they're just always you just like hate them. them. Yeah, you just hate them. <laughs> uh, they're just unpredict. Like they can beat a good team one week, and then the next week they lose to the Jets. Like what the shit? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it might be, you know what's weird, is next year, what if the Rams are irrelevant and the Chargers are good? That would that, not surprise me whatsoever. Right? <laughs> and that wouldn't that be a, a strange paradigm shift for those teams that are in L.A. now? Yep. <laughs> yeah, that, it would. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Then we had the fun best game of the week. The Packers 40-14 to 14 over the Tennessee Titans all week. Mm -hmm. People being like, the Packers don't beat good teams. Packers don't beat good teams. And then they just shit on the Titans like they were nothing. Uh, it yeah, was a yeah, snow yeah. game, which was very fun, uh, especially when you win. It was, it was like, it actually looked like a blowout. And then it ended up being a blowout, but it was like, man. Uh, Rodgers, 21 of 25, 231, four TDs and a pick in the snow. Like, he was yep. just insane. Uh, then, I was worried, like, uh-oh, Derrick Henry. We held him to 98 yards on 23 carries. Uh, Grant, they had to play from behind. But that was kind of what I was hoping for. Once you get ahead, you know, they can't fall back and just run the clock with Derrick Henry. But we actually played pretty solid defense. Mike Pettin had the idea of, like, hey, what if we go with five linemen and we drop off a secondary player? And I was like, oh, my God, why didn't we do this forever ago? Because it <laughs> works. Uh, and then... We busted out our Derrick Henry, A.J. Dillon, Tree Trunk, Quadzilla. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. He was like, it was legit like watching Derrick Henry on our team. It was insane. I don't know if you saw the highlight thing I linked, but like. I did not. It's only two minutes if you want to skim through it. But some of those Dang. runs. I don't like the Packers. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Some of those runs, he like, the dude ran over a Tennessee defensive lineman. He trucked him. I was like, yeah. oh, my God. If, like, we have home field advantage for the playoffs and it's cold, like, A.J. Dillon's going to plow through people. I'm so happy. And yeah. then, you know, you just Aaron Jones for the first, and then once the defense is worn down, you put Dillon in and let him just truck over everyone. I'm like, like, by the way, Aaron Jones also ran for 94 yards this game. So, like, we had over 200 yards rushing. A.J. Dillon had two touchdowns. He tried to Lambo leap, and he couldn't get up because his ass was so thick. So the, <laughs> Lazard had to just shove him up there. Uh, oh, yeah. Coach and then, uh, watching every step of the way. <laughs> <laughs> he saw every jiggle. <laughs> and then every, every ripple. ripple. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, Devontae Adams had 142 yards and three touchdowns. Yeah. So that's also pretty good. Uh, honestly... Like, this team just looks so much better than last year's team. Last year's team, I was like, yeah, this year's team, I'm like, wow, this is a good team. Like, Darnell Savage making interceptions. Uh, Kirksey had a pick. We had a ton of pressure on Tannehill. We were stopping the run. We were making plays. We just, I don't even think we punted this game. We actually didn't punt. Uh, so, I'm, whew, I'm excited. I'm happy. That felt like a statement win. And all we got to do is go into the Bear Town. Chicago Bear, Chicago hometown Bears. Uh, I don't know why yep. I said that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. just uh, win, and we get the we get the buy, and we get home field advantage. And honestly, I want home field more than the buy. Like the buy is great, you get your free win, but having home field in the snow and everything would be fantastic. Yeah, you talk about a team that's peaking at the right moment. It's the Packers. Mm. Yeah, and I you think know, uh, unlike earlier uh or like past teams where there's a lot of just Aaron Rodgers carrying it like going into the snow with like Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon like feels really good and yeah, being yeah. able to just run through everything in the cold you definitely it seems like more of a complete Packers team than previous years where it was where it definitely was like it's just Aaron Rodgers yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know the but um but uh the other thing that I wanted to mention is on the other side of the ball the Titans are kind of kind of face planting the, yeah. the 
the stretch of this the 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 ending stretch of the season right i mean Mm -hmm. because they 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 started real strong this year yeah yeah we thought they had they had everything just wrapped up yeah yeah i mean they beat the lions but you know (laughs) uh the lions and then (laughs) and (laughs) prior to that they beat the jaguars i mean yeah. Yeah. And then prior to literally that. Literally first overall pick, yeah. Yeah. And then they lost to the Browns 41-35, where they almost made that comeback. So that's yeah. a little bit telling. And then they beat the Colts. I mean, they're actually scoring a lot of points. And then, I don't know if it was yeah. the snow, but, like, again, like, I was worried, like, uh-oh, Derrick Henry in the snow, watch out. Then, really, we're just, like, we got our own Derrick Henry. We're going to start running over them. And I was like, dude, this is mm. great. This is fun. Yeah, um, I think that was my reasoning last week, right? Was that like you guys have a good running game and they have a good running game and you both have a good passing games, but Aaron Rodgers is better. Yeah. It's... And but that, I mean, that that's not even really how it played out. Like you guys just ran better. Yeah. Like on, we haven't I've seen A.J. Dillon maybe like three times this year. He'd like get one run a game and then he'd get like two carries. He get like four. I think they were just saving him for the end of the season. Because they knew, like, this dude is like a bowling ball. And, like, you watch some of those runs. That game was half his attempts of the season. Yeah. Like, legit. It was insane. Like, they just busted him out. Like, yeah, here's our secret weapon. And the dude, it wasn't even, here's the thing. It's like, he wasn't just a downhill runner. He was making cuts. Like, he was, like, juking people. And I'm like, oh, my God. This dude doesn't just run downhill. He, like, makes you miss and then runs you over. Like, uh... Dan Orlovsky on Twitter was breaking down one of the runs and like the offensive line obviously helps a lot, but like he had to make one guy miss and he legit just like ran him over and was like, you can't tackle me. Maybe that's why you guys demolished them is because like they just had no real tape and were not expecting you guys to run AJ Dillon 20 times. Yeah, I legit think that's why. And now it's like going forward. I'm, I'm excited for the AJ Dillon experience. And the best part about that is we like, once you get worn down by him, then we can be like, here's Aaron Jones. And they're just like, oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and he just, you know, <laughs> runs circles around you. So I'm excited for some Green Bay Packer football. <laughs> um, Green Bay Packer football coach. And that was my Packer rant of the week. Then yeah. we had the Bills <laughs> beat. <laughs> <laughs> then we had the Bills literally just shit on the Patriots. Yeah, just um, absolutely just wreck them to pieces fun fact from this game most passing touchdowns in gillette stadium this season Derek carr two cam newton two josh allen four <laughs> i can't believe cam newton has two touchdown passes in a season there yeah that's rough yeah they they, they really man <laughs> those patriots fans they went from like tom brady to whoo, <laughs> in the passing game like yeah. You know, one year to the next. Yeah, it's... But the Patriots have reached meme status at 6 and 9. That's true, <laughs> yeah. They did it's get the, the meme number. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. And also, Bills... by the way, I want to thank Josh Allen for th- throwing four touchdowns against the Patriots. First of all, that's blessed. But secondly, <laughs> uh, he threw three of them to Stefan Diggs, which effectively canceled out my opponent's QB. So that was great. <laughs> Thank you for helping me in the fantasy football championships as well. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> hey. Um, woo. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Bills look good. Honestly, yeah. it's like Stephon Stephon, Diggs looks really good, too. 145 yards, three touchdowns. Like, man, that is, <laughs> yeah. that's what they were missing. They missed that number one wide receiver, and now they got him. And Josh Allen is thriving. Mm. Yahoo, by the way, Yahoo was like, no, 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 you shouldn't play this guy. The, the, the Patriots are actually good against wide receivers. <laughs> We're projecting him to have only 12 points. Yeah, right. Three fucking <laughs> touchdowns, Mr. Mr. Also, Yahoo. Uh, the Bills' defense is getting healthier, too. And oh, I think just that's in starting time. To show. Yeah, by just in way. time. So I just think... in time? Oh, just Hello? in time. Uh, we were talking just about how the time. Patriots got shit on. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> and there it is. Um, so those, that's my professional opinion. Yep, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, those are the games of the week. Now, do we want to do power rankings or playoff scenarios first? Playoff scenarios right. first, coach. Playoff scenarios. If the playoffs started the day, the Chiefs and the Packers get the bye. The Browns would go to Buffalo. The Ravens would go to Pittsburgh. The Dolphins would go to Tennessee. 
The Bears would go to New Orleans, the Rams would go to Seattle, and the Bucks would go to Washington. Now, Ooh. let's just uh, sim some scenarios real quick. All right, Dolphins, Bills. We'll say the Bills. Let's say Patriots, Jets. Doesn't matter. Let's say <laughs> the Ravens beat the Bengals. All right, we'll say the hey, Cowboys beat the Giants. Why not? Uh, Vikings, Lions. Doesn't matter. Bucks, Falcons. We'll say the Bucks win. All right, Texans, Titans. We'll say Titans. I would hope. <laughs> Uh, let's say uh, Colts beat the Jaguars. Let's say Broncos. Pff, doesn't matter. Chiefs will win. Let's say Packers beat the Bears. Let's say Saints win. Let's say Cardinals actually beat the backup quarterback of the Rams. Uh, we'll say the Seahawks win, and we'll say the football team decides to show up and play. Uh, and then we'll say the Browns win against the Steelers' backup. All right. So mm -hmm. if all that played out. The Colts would go to Buffalo. The Browns would go to Pittsburgh, and they'd play again. Uh, and then the Ravens would go to Tennessee. Uh, and then on the other side, Packers get the bye. You got Rams at Saints, Cardinals at Seahawks, and the Bucks would go to Washington. Now, let's make it more interesting. Let's say the Eagles beat the football team. All right. That means mm -hmm. the Cowboys would host the Buccaneers. Oh, oh, now let's make it more. Let's say the Giants beat the Cowboys. That means the Giants would host the Buccaneers. <laughs> All right. Now. So it's literally, so are the, are the Buccaneers locked into playing one of the NFC East teams? Yes. That's uh, hilarious. It seems that way. However, let's say the 49ers beat the Seahawks because I actually think right. that could happen. Yeah. Uh, nothing would change. But right. <laughs> let's say. <laughs> Fun to analyze, though. All yeah. right, yeah. Let's say the uh, the Packers lose to the Bears in some crazy misfortune. Oh, yeah. And the Cardinals win. That means the Rams would be out of the playoffs. The Cardinals wow. would go to New Orleans. The Bears would go to Seattle, and the Bucks would play the NFC East. I, now, mean, let's I think say, that's reasonably feasible, too. Yeah. Let's say the Rams beat the Cardinals. Then right. the Bears would go to New Orleans. The Rams would go to Seattle, and the Bucks would be NFC East. But let's say... All right, let's get a little crazier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's say the Saints. Uh, oh, wait, I guess even a set. Wait, do the Packers? What the shit? <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if the, even if the Packers yeah. lose, if the Seahawks um, lose to the 49ers, Packers still get the one seed. So it all boils down to the Seahawks losing. Packers get it automatically. But the Packers win, they get it automatically. Let's say the Seahawks win and the Packers lose. Now it gets crazy. Now we're getting mm. wacky. That means Saints win. They get the one seed. Then the Bears would go to Seattle. Rams would go to Green Bay. And the Bucks would, you know, same. But let's say the <laughs> Panthers somehow beat the Saints. Then All the right. Seahawks get the one seed. The Packers go to Green Bay in a back-to-back -back so matchup. There's so many things that can happen. Dude, yeah. oh my God. If the Bears beat the Packers and then the next week they have to go to Green Bay, I almost want that to happen. Uh, <laughs> what, the I Rams. The, what I think is the craziest part of all of this is that there's a 10 win team from the AFC that's not going to make the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is funny. Uh, that sucks, man. That happened to the Jets once in uh, 2015, and, that, and it sucks. It sucked yeah. real hard. It, it was a real bummer. And then the Rams would go to New Orleans. But then the Cardinals. If the Cardinals. Okay. Oh, my God. If the, if the Bears beat the Packers, the Panthers beat the Saints, and the Cardinals beat the Rams. And the Seahawks beat the 49ers. The Seahawks get the bye. The Cardinals go to Green Bay. The Bears go to New Orleans. And then the NFC Bucks. Now, let's go to the AFC. All right. Let's say the right. Dolphins beat the Bills instead of the Bills beating the Dolphins. All right. Then mm -hmm. the Browns go to Buffalo. The Ravens go to Pittsburgh. And Miami goes to Tennessee. But. So it's actually the same as it, as it is right now. Uh, no, because if the Bills win, then it would be Colts at Buffalo. Browns at Pittsburgh, Ravens at Tennessee. Okay, that seems now, more likely. Let's mix it up. Let's say the Browns Browns it up against the Steelers. Then, if uh, Buffalo wins, then Miami would go to Buffalo again. The Colts would go to oh, Pittsburgh, man. and Baltimore would go to Tennessee. Let's say the Dolphins win, though, and then the Steelers win. Then the Colts go to Pittsburgh still. The Ravens go to Buffalo, and Miami goes to Tennessee. Now, let's say the Titans blow it against the Texans. Then, the Browns go to Pittsburgh, the Ravens go to Buffalo, the Dolphins go to Indianapolis. Now, let's say the Bills win and the Titans do the thing. 
All right, then the Dolphins go to Buffalo. Tennessee goes to Pittsburgh, and my or uh, Baltimore goes to Indianapolis. Now, let's say this is like ASR. When you said playoff scenarios, I didn't mean I didn't know you meant literally every playoff scenario. <laughs> we gotta break it down. <laughs> let's say somehow this is someplace. actually like those number stations you know where they're, they're like <laughs> you 16. see uh on nbc that guy who looks like the always sunny in philadelphia wearing the like doing the, yeah, the he's right, like yeah, that's, yeah, the that's, you right right that's me right yeah. now if the Bengals beat Pepe the Sylvia, ravens Pepe Sylvia, there is no Pepe Sylvia. <laughs> if the Bengals beat the ravens then the ravens go to buffalo the Dolphins go to Pittsburgh and Tennessee goes to the Colts. But if the Titans beat the Texans, the Colts go to Tennessee. But if the Browns beat the Steelers, then Miami goes to Buffalo. Colts go to Pittsburgh. Browns go to Tennessee. Uh, and I think that's I think that's all of them. Okay. <laughs> that is intense, yeah. So I mean, I'm going to be honest. I did pay attention to like half of them. <laughs> I think so. The, I think that's positive. The big thing here is if the Browns lose, they're probably not going to make the playoffs. Yeah, that's right. Dude, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. It's just it's it's so perfectly Browns for them to show this much promise <laughs> only to fall short in the worst way. Did yeah. I, also, didn't I? What did I say at the beginning of the season? People know. You Did said, I... don't try to suck my dick, you guys. Like, <laughs> you really insisted. I on know. That. You guys really want. I mean, maybe I, I should just just accept it at this point, you know? Just yeah, gonna, just let us suck your dick. Going. Come on. Yeah, it's going to force him going. Why oh, not? You know? to the power ranking. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I, no, but what I was going to say is the. Uh, I think I said that the Browns are a, are a 10 win minimum team this year. It might have been nine wins, and then right. they, they, they've already. Did. But if I said that. Then I might have cursed them, which would suck. Because <laughs> they order... got exactly ten, and then right. they up. <laughs> Here's a fun thing: in order for the Ravens to miss the playoffs, they would have to lose, and the Browns would have to win. But mm. any other scenario, even if the Ravens lose and the Browns lose, the Ravens make it in because they hold the tiebreaker. And right. if the Ravens yeah. win, they're just in automatically. It, what if the Ravens and the Browns time. win? If the Ravens and Browns win, then the Dolphins would be out of it. If they lose to Buffalo. Oh, okay. But if the oh, Dolphins win, then the Ravens and the Browns would be in. Wait, what the shit? The and then the Colts what? are out. What? Yeah, okay, so that's if, wild. Yeah, if the Browns beat the Steelers, Ravens win, and the Dolphins beat Buffalo, the Colts are out of it, even if the Colts win. And the only way the Colts can get in is if the Titans lose to the Texans and the, the Colts would win the division. They hold the tiebreaker over the Titans, so the right. Titans could actually miss the playoffs if they lose. This is a, such a close race. Yeah, 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 this is a wacky week seventeen. Sometimes it's yeah. all like set in stone, but this is like everything's uh, all know, over the place. Actually, since I think it was like it was like uh, a little under ten years ago, they changed it so that remember when we were when we were growing up, week seventeen was basically pointless. Like most yeah. teams would be resting their yeah, starters yeah, yeah. and stuff, but then like. I think within 10 years, what they did is they made it so that divisional games got moved to like yes, the last yeah. couple of weeks. Yep. And it has made it so much better. Like, That's what, it, it really what's is. made it so that the NFC East comes down to week 17 every year is because it's always a divisional game. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, it's, it, it, yeah. It's so, it's so much cooler now because like anything can happen now. Like it, again, it's the playoffs for all of these teams. Mm -hmm. Like they have yeah. to win. Like and now that there's the only one bye, like you really want that bye week too. Oh yeah. yeah, so yeah, so this is, it's a hugely important. So I mean, pretty much. I mean, I do want that to happen. I want Cleveland, Baltimore, and Miami to all win because I'd love to see them all in. I would too. I think I'd rather see them than the Colts, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. like Philip Rivers to lose in his first round. Then yeah, I mean, yeah. it's we need to see destiny uh, fulfill itself again. But if that's not meant to be, then it's not meant to be. I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that'll be fun. Sinvik the power rankings. Thank you, Coach Crandor. Power rankings. The final one of the season Woo. before the playoffs, Coach. Woo. Here we go. We had some moving and some doing and some grooving and some shakings. Top five of the power rankings on the NFL.com power rankings, starting with Alpaca Patrol. Chiefs. Yep. Bear. Give it the Packers. Yep. Coach Grendor. The Bills. Yep. Robert. Saints. 
And bear for the dunk. I guess it's the Steelers. And strike oh. one, Coach Crendor. The uh... oh god, who's up? The Seahawks. And oh, what? strike two, Robert. Well, now it's one of five, ten, and five teams. Um, <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Correct. That's rough. Okay, I guess it's probably Baltimore. That is correct. Oh, yeah. Rob oh, saving it at the end. Chiefs mm-hmm. stayed at one. Literally the top five just stayed the same. Uh, <laughs> Chiefs, Bills, Packers, uh, Saints, and Ravens going one, two, three, four, five with a lot of moving going on for the rest of the top ten, which goes as the following. The Seahawks coming up at number six, uh, rising from seventh. The Steelers actually breaking back into the top ten, going from 11th to seventh now, jumping four spots. That was not the thinnest dink of the week. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers going up from 12 to 8, going to the 8th spot. The Browns have dipped down from the 6th spot to the ninth spot. I'm actually surprised they're still in the top 10. Uh, with, number... the, with the uh, Tennessee Titans now rounding out the top 10, falling from 8th to 10th. Now, here we go for the thinnest dinks. And, guys, this is going to be a community vote for you all right now. The yes. thinnest dinks tied for the most... Uh, ranks jumped by well one team this week uh, both of these teams climbing five ranks each uh and uh, right behind each other actually i'll give you a bo- i'll give you all a hint you get you, all you gotta do is just guess one of the two teams all right they are both in the nfc robert oh they're both in the nfc uh, you just gotta pick one the bears oh yeah it's the bears dude yeah yeah Crendor? bears you could have picked. We should we should cast a wider <laughs> net than that. I think you, you all could have literally picked one of. But it is 16. the Bears. Isn't it? It's the Bears, right? It is not the Chicago Bears. <laughs> the San Francisco 49ers ah. jumping five ranks from 26 to the 21st spot, and then the Carolina Panthers oh. jumping from the 27th spot to the 22nd spot. Both of them vaulting past uh, everyone but themselves, five ranks and up. Good job to uh, you all for guessing the same exact team. Now, (laughs) on to the fattest doink, the team that has dropped six spots. And this is a team that you guys will probably not guess, but I'll be impressed if you do. Falling from 19th to 25th, name that team, Robert. Uh, 19 to 25th, huh? Uh, Is it the Vikings? Bear? The Falcons and coach. Uh, is it the oh boy? I'm gonna give it the old Bengals. We should all guess Vikings. <laughs> it is the New York Giants Whoa. dropping from 19th to 25th, uh, <laughs> which they can still surprisingly take the NFC East on Saturday with a win over. Uh, the Cowboys paired with a Washington football team lost to the Eagles, as Coach just got done talking as about. tradition. Which would be hilarious. <laughs> now we go to Bear Taffy. Bear, true or false, the 6-9 and nine Patriots are ranked above the 5-10 and 10 New York Giants. Uh, false. That is correct, Amundo. The Patriots have fallen five spots, narrowly Ooh. missing the fattest doink. Falling from 21st to 26th now, ranked below the 25th ranked New York Giants. So good job, Bear, on that one. We go on to Coach Crendor. Coach, true or false, the Bengals have vaulted over the Houston Texans in the power rankings. No doubt, here. That's a true. What? That is false, indeed. The Texans stayed rock solid at the 28th rank uh, despite uh, losing again. J.J. Watt got mad. Big freaking surprise there. The Bengals did indeed move up, being 4-10-1, going from the 30th spot to the 29th rank, so good job them. And now, finally, Robert, the final one of the day. True or false, Rob? The Jets are now in the 30th spot of the power rankings, NFL.com power rankings. Oh, God, you know, I think that's probably true. Ding, 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 ding. Mm. That is correct. Bonus points if you can guess the team that they vaulted over, which you probably won't. Uh, oh, boy. I don't know. Is it uh, the fucking Lions? 
That is correct. Whoa. The Lions wow. have fallen down from the 29th spot to the 31st spot, despite having three more wins <laughs> and three less losses than the Jets. The Jets is... have now just hurled themselves, catapulted even, <laughs> with a trebuchet all the way up to the 30th spot in the power rankings. And uh, as always here for the tradition of the 2020 season, we read Dan Hansis's write-up of the Jets and see if Rob actually agrees with it or not. Mm. <clears throat> and I quote, the number one overall pe- pick was all but lost, so why not win another football game? That's exactly what the Jets did in their latest upset, a 23-16 to conquest over the Browns at the Meadowlands. <laughs> Consider it something of a revenge game against Baker Mayfield, the quarterback who famously toppled the Jets in prime time in his NFL debut back in 2018. Yep. Mayfield fumbled three times on Sunday, including back-to-back fumbles that ended Cleveland's final two possessions. Sam Darnold, the quarterback Darnold. taken... <laughs> two spots after Mayfield in the 2018 draft through two touchdowns and what could be the final home start of his star-crossed Jets career. Uh, home Huge decisions loom for GM Joe Douglas and the Jets' brain trust in the coming weeks and months, Rob. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, who, who knows what happens? I don't know. Maybe Sam Darnold's on the team next year. He could be. I don't know. Yeah. If you, if you could give it a percentage, Rob, what would you give the percentage over-under that Darnold stays with the team? Oh, oh 50, God. 50, 60, 40, 70, 30. Let's see. Do I think that... Ooh, do I think that Philadelphia moves up to two? Shit, they might. I'd say, you know what? I'm going to give it a 50-50. Because I think there's a chance that we could move down. We could... I, I if, if Philadelphia stays at six, like... We could probably move there, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe they stay with Jalen Hurts. Yeah, and then I mean, uh, Falcons could. They might be looking for a Matt Ryan replacement. They might, but I, I think that would be a mistake. But they might well, be Lions. Li- yeah, Lions could be as well. Um, Broncos. But, <laughs> you never I know. Mean, that would. Yeah, John but, Elway it, might be at like, that point. Just feels at two to ten, they would have to be given up a lot to do that so yeah. i don't know i think it's like a 50 50 because i think there's a lot of things that could happen we could take justin fields and then donald's gone we could yeah. take uh a, a another player and then donald probably stays or we could trade back and then donald also could stay or could go so it's like there's a lot of, I'm, I'm, I, it's, it's like a 50 50 now so a 50-50. And that's going to do it for the power rankings. <laughs> yeah. Back up to coach Robin Bear in the booth. So we are on to pick them. Pick them. Pick them. Pick em. The final pick em of the season. Pick em. Pick em. So uh, at this point last <laughs> season, there were five games separating the top three in prediction percentage. This year, the top three are all within one game. Discord Robin Smith. <laughs> Everyone now has eight losses predicting the Rams this season. Grand Norse yeah. and Vic, the Discord, seven and eight. Rob Bears, six and eight. Sounds right. The Browns are now five and six all time when locks and Victor's lock lock them with the best record at three and two. Uh, Bear has it's winning. <laughs> Bear was nine and two this season when locking a new team each each uh, week. His last three locks were all repeat teams and has gone one and two. Yeah, Ooh. I fucked up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and. <laughs> Rob has picked against everyone else only seven times this season, the least of anyone. Crendor's done it the most, 24, followed by Bear, 21, and Sinvic, the 14. Mm. You know, it's almost like that's a bad idea because it's probably not the most likely team to win. Or but it's it fun sometimes. Fun, it it is fun. It means that I take the sure things more often than you guys, which would mean that I, you know, this, it explains the winning percentage that's a little bit, too. Now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's what he just said. I just said it in a weird way. Oh, uh, okay. So I thought you were saying something. All right, fair enough. No, no, no. Pick em. Pick em. Pick em. <laughs> Here we go. Vikings, Lions. I'll take Vikings. Vikings. Vikings? I, yeah, I don't know, dude. Vikings, I think, are going to win this one. Vikings for show. Just such a meaningless game. Uh, is Matt Stafford playing? Probably not. I don't think I don't, so. I don't no. think it matters. Yeah, I don't. Think yeah, I, I guess I'll take Vikings. All right, Falcons, Bucks, Bucks. Yeah, Bucks. Yeah, they have to win, right? No, I don't think this matters. Nah. I don't think so, but the I Bucks, still think the Bucks. Bucks don't have to win. 
Oh. Mm. But but they gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Do you take it? You take it at Bucks. Oh, I already said Bucks, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Jets Patriots. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna take the New York football <laughs> oh, jets. No. <laughs> it's We're gonna lose. Pick. It's the pick we've been waiting for the <laughs> entire season, Bear. Yeah. Now is when your medal has tested. <laughs> This is a meaningless pickums for you. I know, but we're going to lose. It makes me so sad. You know what's We're going to lose to the Jets. <laughs> you know what's weird? It's not meaningless for me. And I could, considering how close it is, I could let the entire season ride on the Jets Super Bowl, whether we can get a revenge game victory against the new the depleted New England Patriots who have scored two touchdowns in homes in at home uh Dude, the Rob, lock the Jets. I think I want to do it, right? Like that feels right. That Let's feels right. It. Absolutely. No, I agree with you 100%. I'm locking the Jets and Jets. Yes. You know what? This is the only one thing that you have given me this whole year and I expect <laughs> to you to take it away from me, but you know, I'm putting my faith in you here. Let's you see. did at least also get the fantasy championship this year too. That's yeah. true. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm this there feels right. All right. Um, Dolphins Bills. Hey, I didn't pick. I didn't make my oh. pick. All right, what's your pick? I am picking the new <laughs> England Patriots <laughs> oh, to win shit. the game. The Patriots will not lose to the Jets. All right. I think you might be right. <laughs> we'll see. It's a, it's a possibility. Dolphins they're Bills. Not, they're not going to lose. They're going to lose. <laughs> no, Bear, I got you. Don't worry. Dolphins Bills. <laughs> Dolphins Bills. 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 Take the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, the Bills are good, dude. Yeah. 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 Stefan Diggs is in the woods. Yeah. 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 But then again, <laughs> divisional game, and also the Dolphins are really good at picking off the ball. It's true. So. Yep. Uh, is it Fitzmagic playing? Don't know. It, I, if they yeah, it's, do, it's it'll probably, probably be, be a Tua starts, and if he's bad, then he comes in. The bill, but the yeah. Bills, the Bills have to win this, don't they? I don't know yeah. if they do. Pretty sure they do. They, I mean, if they want to have the two seed instead of the three seed, but it's certainly a meaningful game for them. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it could it could actually mean something going for us. I mean, yeah, they kind of do. It's so wild that the Dolphins are a playoff team. We played <laughs> two quarterbacks this year, and one of them's a rookie. Yeah. It is a little wacky. After like all the the expectations that we didn't have for them, mm -hmm. they got yeah, a good defense. Man. I think that's the big yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Work, and it's, yeah. And it, it, you know, it's kind of fitting that it's Fitzmagic because now he's been on literally every team in the NFC <laughs> except <laughs> yeah. for the Patriots. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, it's looking like he yeah. could go there pretty soon. He might be on the Patriots <laughs> next year, which would oh, kind of be great, dude. He kind of should. I would. I. I kind. I would hate to have to root for them, but <laughs> I would love to root for him on the Pats. That'd be great. Uh, he'd, he'd be doing great for five weeks, and then that's all you're getting out of him. <laughs> they can leave it. Perfect. Steelers Browns. True. Jeez, oh. that's tough. That I'm gonna take tough. the Browns because Roethlisberger is not playing. Oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah Brown's right. Playing. Rudolph's playing, yeah. but is but are any of the receivers playing? I would hope at least one of them is playing. <laughs> God, hold on, I gotta Google Browns. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Browns are gonna lose this because this is gonna be their spectacular failure. And oh, that's the true. Oh no, don't wish that on them. <laughs> it's gonna happen though. Oh, yeah, it really does feel very Brownsy. I'm taking the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ooh. Yeah, I, I am also taking the Steelers. Mason. Uh, oh right, yeah. This is Mason Rudolph and Miles Garrett playing against each other again. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh my god, yeah. that's gonna be fun. Uh, and apparently, Stefanski fun says he's funny. Yes, <laughs> uh, Stefanski says receivers could play. Okay, All you right, know what? Good. I'm taking the Browns. I think the Browns. All I think right. the Browns. They they need to win, and the Steelers yeah. don't. So you know. There you go. Yeah, I love that. It's just they could play. <laughs> they could play. <laughs> not they will, not they should, but they could. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Cowboys, Giants. Give me the Giants. I am going to pick 
the Dallas Cowboys and Andy Me Dalton. Me too. Yeah, mm-hmm. I guess I got to pick the Cowboys because they need to win. So I mean, well, the, I mean, they the Giants. Win. Like they all, yeah. Is, I it, think, is it is it in Dallas? Nope, it's in no. New York. I am uh, desperately hoping that a six and ten NFC East team <laughs> makes the playoffs. Therefore, I will be selecting the New York Giants out of a uh, sheer hope for that. Oh, I like it. He had an N- N- NFC Magic <laughs> earlier in the year. I think I lost it a little bit, but maybe I'm find- finding it again at the end. Yeah, that might be. You might be right here. Because I'm going to be picking the Eagles, too, and then that's just going to be spectacular. <laughs> in fact, the Cowboys are the only team that has a winning streak in the NFC East. <laughs> that's, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, uh, and how they started winning again. That's so weird. I don't know. You know what? I I'm going to lock the Dallas Dalton. Cowboys. Whoa! Whoa! I'm going to lock it. That that's is a wild. move, Coach. I got it. Got to be bold. I'll be, <laughs> I will be taking, I guess, the Cowboys. All right. I'll be, I'll be flip-flopping on that. because. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> yeah, NFC East. I mean, I don't care in the end of the day. Oh, yeah, me either. Uh, <laughs> this could be the Buccaneers game, though. You don't know who they're going to play. Mm-hmm. Um, Ravens, Bengals. Mm-hmm. Ravens. 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 Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They have the Bengals to win are going to play this like it's their Super Bowl. Though. Probably, but yeah. The, the Ravens have to win this game, though. So. Yeah, yeah, they, they want to win. It's a playoff um, game for them. It is. Yep. Colts, Jaguars, Colts. Colts. Me, the Colts. <laughs> yeah, the Colts have to win too, right? So yeah, yes, Colts, they have to win. But... Well, they don't. Actually, yeah, they they should. All win. the ten win teams it... have to win. Yeah, man, it would be hilarious because the Jags can still have the one even if they beat the Colts. Cause yeah, it, so it would be hilarious if the Jags win. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, Titans, Texans, Titans. Titans. Titans, yeah, I'm taking it. Titans, but I, I don't, don't know. I don't think they'll lose two in a row, especially this is a playoff game. I don't think so either. Them. Yeah. Um, Cardinals, Rams. Rams. I'm taking the Cardinals. I'm taking the cards. <laughs> My gut said cards. I took cards. I don't trust the Rams ever again. Yeah, yeah, they did yeah. lose to the Jets, actually. You know what? Yeah, I give actually, me the Cardinals. <laughs> I actually hate the Rams, so I'll take the Cardinals. All right, fantastic. All right, sure, let's give them a clean sweep. <laughs> yep. Saints, Panthers. Uh, Saints. Saints. Lock the Saints for me. That's a good lock. Uh, I actually think the Panthers can put up a fight here. Yeah. I mean, and I'm going to take I'm... the Panthers. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 The Saints don't have to win this game. Well, they they technically do to get the one seed if they Yeah, they need the one, right? Like Yeah. And that's pretty important this year. Yeah. I'll take the Saints. Uh, I mean, we didn't even mention it by the way. Like we did mention that he had a good game, but we didn't mention that Alvin Kamara literally tied oh, yeah. yeah like literally tied the rushing touchdown in a single game record like <laughs> oh my god he, he had, like it wasn't just a good game like he literally well, I mean, t- we we did talk about that but you weren't here bro. oh yeah oh, a little you... bit yeah oh you said yeah. we just did the intro <laughs> you had a whole conversation coach, coach, well coach we did idea. We, did a little bit we, yeah. oh you bit. liars um, so the way the saints would get the, the way the saints would get the one seed is they need the packers to lose and the seahawks to win and then they have to win and they would get they the one seed win. yeah so yep. yee and even then the packers would play the rams in green <laughs> bay and i'm like oh, shit on the rams uh all right then <laughs> But you I also want, I don't want to go to New Orleans. I don't want to go to New Orleans. Packers, Bears. Packers. Yep, yeah, Packers. Although, Packers. I just, Could I don't happen. see the, I don't think the Bears can win. <laughs> I really don't. I don't think so either, but I don't know. There's like a 10% chance. Yeah, there's still a part of me that's like, Ugh, but then most of me is like, we're going to win. Yeah. Packers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Chargers, Chiefs. Chiefs. I don't even know. Actually, I don't know if they're going to rest their starters, though. You think they will? Yeah, do they have... Let me see. Oh, hold on. Yeah, look. 
temporary, temporarily, temporarily take that back. <laughs> Andy Reid yeah. to rest some starters versus L.A. Chargers. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna take the Chargers. Yeah, I might take the. So hold on, Grendor, yep. playoff predictor. Yeah. If the Chiefs lose, there's no scenario in they which they have the one seed. They just have the one seed, yeah. right? Yeah, give me the Chargers. Yeah, give me the Chargers. Yeah. Uh, I do we know how many starters he's sitting? No, at least Mahomes, right? And who's who's backing up Mahomes? I mean, yeah, I literally no actually don't know who they who they have as a backup. Yeah, I guess the Chargers. All right, uh, Chiefs backup quarterback. Uh, Mahomes. didn't he play? Oh, is it Matt Moore? Oh, Matt Moore. Oh wait, still no, playing? it's uh, I think they got rid of him. I think it's Chad Henney. <laughs> Chad oh Henney? <laughs> wow, yeah, that's even more surprising. <laughs> that actually is pretty insane. Wow, yeah. He threw for 17 yards against the Jets. What? Wait. Might as well put in Vinny Testaverde. Yeah, this. <laughs> Good chance uh, Chad Henney will play. Geez, he's 35 years old. It's wild. That dude's dead. ancient. Yeah, um, he's he's nearly he's almost five years older than me. He's gonna <laughs> die soon. <laughs> um, Seahawks 49ers. Oh, uh, Seahawks. Seahawks! Yeah, I'm gonna take the 49ers. I think they're playing. I think they're they're healthy enough to give them a battle. I think they can do it, and they're in San Francisco. Yeah, I'm but the thinking... Seahawks aren't playing for nothing though. Yeah, but I think the 49ers just hate the Seahawks. That's true. Uh, I'm going to take the Seahawks. All right. Okay. I this also want to cheer for the 49ers because if they, you know, if they win, then the Packers automatically get the I, Every time I told you, though, like every time the Niners, you think what they're going to do, they just don't. That's what I'm saying. They're wacky. They're wild. And it's a divisional mm -hmm. game. I think they could upset the Seahawks here. But that's what you think, but that's not what they're going to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, look, the Niners lately. I'm going to be honest. I hope the Seahawks lose because we have their draft pick. So, <laughs> yeah. You know. Woo woo. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Woo woo. <laughs> um, Raiders Broncos. Oh, God. <laughs> I guess yeah. I'll take we, the Raiders. Do we, really, do we even care? No. No, yeah. no, we don't. Uh, but I'm going to take the Raiders because I don't trust Drew Locke. Are the Raiders mathematically eliminated? Yes. Can they not yep. get in? Yes, yeah, they're, they're out done. There. Yeah, I mean, I guess Raiders. I, I feel like John Gruden's the type of guy to be like, no, we're playing this game. As <laughs> yeah. if... He definitely is. The Raiders are so bad, though. They yeah. are, but the Broncos aren't great either. Yeah. I guess the Raiders. And the game yeah. of the week. <laughs> the football team and the Eagles. Give... Me, <laughs> the football team. <laughs> Woo! 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 You know what? Give me the football team, too. Screw yeah! it. Yeah, let's go football I'm team. I'm also taking the football team. Whoa! Yeah. Bear, make it four in a row, Bear. Eagle! Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh shit. Eagles for the shittiness of the <laughs> NFC East to come to complete... And uh, confident close. That's that, true. It would be hilarious. It would be funny. Um, the um, the I, I also wanted to mention, Simvicta, uh, the way that you clap there. If you're acting, that's how they teach you to clap during speech. Is you clap in between the words rather than during the words, because you know, it's a no, it's be bad. That's a great football fact, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rob. My my thespian no side is very, very cultural. You know, now. you might have an act and uh, be an actor in your future. I'm just saying, you know. I do have a PhD in BS. <laughs> uh, well, that's gonna do it for this wait, week's did I, football. Did everyone lock? I didn't. Oh I didn't wait, you lock. didn't lock. All right. Did anyone else lock? Did you drew lock? I locked. No, I didn't drew lock. <laughs> <laughs> I will lock. And that'll be the I'm end sorry. of the football podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry, Coach. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to be locked. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh, no. 
I was gonna be locking the green oh, bay no. packer. Oh, oh god. no! <laughs> this is this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> this is bad. He's evil. <laughs> oh, it's not. It can't. It can't happen. Well, so much for your season, bud. Yeah, it was it. fun while it lasted. Uh. But wait, I thought I thought he passed on the curse to Bear. Wait, I did. That's right. That's right. We're I locked safe. the Packers. I'm Woo! safe. Bear, wait, who did Bear lock? I locked the uh, the Saints. Wait, did you? Yeah. Oh, nice. For me. All right, let's go. Yeah, go Packers. That's good for Woo! my pick. All right, wait, uh, we're safe. We didn't check. Wait, hold on, hold on. Did we check if he, if the if the curse was passed on? I didn't actually even. I didn't yes, remember Bear lost. Look. It. Bear lost his lock last week. I oh, sure did. Fuck, Woo! it did pass on. Oh my god, oh, it passed god. on. Da, yes, da, all right. Da, Thanks da, for. Da, 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 wait, da, 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 hold on, time out. Da, 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 beep, beep, beep. The Chiefs won, and he locked the Chiefs. Oh. So it didn't pass on. <laughs> no. No, it did pass on because they because he lost it to the Jets. That's true. He did well, lose, lose to the Jets, but then he locked the Chiefs, and the Chiefs won. Yeah. Yeah, but that wasn't an important game. That's true. That's being important. All right. Thank you for listening, everybody. Thank you for sharing and subscribe. Hit the bell. Ding, ding, bop, 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 bop. You know, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your family. We'll see you next week for the playoff preview. And the Aaron Rodgers MVP voting. Goodbye. Goodbye.